With Ox.io, creating input paths to monitor sound effects and sample libraries has never been easier. Open the I.O. setup menu in Pro Tools, where you can see the main mix is playing out our MacBook Pro speakers. Ox.io can be accessed by either the input or output tabs of I.O. setup. Let's add an input path by clicking on the input tab, then clicking on the Ox.io button. All of the available physical and virtual core audio devices appear in the list shown with their available inputs and outputs. Let's click on in for Pro Tools Audio Bridge 2A, which will provide us with a stereo audition path for SoundMiner, our sound effects database. Under the audition folder, let's create a new stereo aux track, which we'll call Mon SM. Assign the input to the new path coming from Pro Tools Audio Bridge 2A. Since SoundMiner uses the default system sound output, we'll change the default from MacBook Pro speakers to Pro Tools Audio Bridge 2A. Now from within SoundMiner, we can simply choose a sound effect to audition, then hit play. Let's add an additional input path, but this time for monitoring multi-channel surround. From the I.O. setup, we can return back to Aux I.O. and add Pro Tools Audio Bridge 6, a discrete six-channel bus that we can use as our second audition path. We can optionally rename any I.O. paths to clarify how they will be displayed within Pro Tools. Instead of the three stereo paths, we'll turn this into a single 5-1 path, labelled Mon AF. Create a new 5-1 aux track and assign the input to our newly created path. From within Audio Finder, we have the ability to choose the core audio output to route to, so we will select Pro Tools Audio Bridge 6. We can now audition selected files through Pro Tools, independent of the SoundMiner path.